This was actually Chinatown Express for a long period of time. Um, my parents, they, they acquired the business and, and it was great. But with the, with the gentrification and, and so much happening in Echo Park, we wanted to stay relevant, we wanted to reinvent ourselves and we wanted to kind of kind of keep up with the times. And with that, like, I, we, I personally, I didn't know what to do. And I'm just sitting here with my fiance uh, one night and we're just kind of like, what do we do? How do we do it, you know? Like, we give it a facelift, but what else? And then one of my regulars, he comes in and he says, hey, Witch, let me get a combo A. So I get up there and I serve him, not even thinking about that, you know, like, and then I come back and I sit down and my girlie says, how about changing the name to Combo A? And it's just like a light bulb just lit up and, and we started from there. And it's been great. The community loves it. The neighborhood loves it. And it's been, it's been really, it's been amazing. Starting with the pandemic, like, um, it was pretty rough. Like, folks were, were afraid to come in. Business slowed down a little bit, you know. We're just right above, like, the green. So it is tough with, with employees because, like, this is their bread and butter as well it is, it is mine. So, you know, when I talk about uh, we were going to close for some time, but then they were at the point where, like, hey, guys, you know, like, we, I, we, we need this job. We need to, we need to keep working. We need to put food on the table, money for their rents and whatnot. And like, even though closing one day, it does affect everything and everybody who works here. That's something that we have to do from a business standpoint. Do I want to do that? No, but from a business standpoint, that's what I kind of have to do. But the, the good thing is like, we, we didn't close. But um, you know, the community is strong. They're supporting, they're helping us which in return helps out the employees. And it's just, it's just uh, it comes a full circle. The, the wild thing about Open Meal is like, it's, it's like what it stands for, uh, the whole premise of it, it's amazing. Um, I'm getting people coming in. I get the text message and they tell me, oh, I'm here for pickup. And I fix up their plate and I ask them how they heard about Open Meal and how it's helped them. And I'm hearing some really incredible stories, like people coming from um, out of state, come to LA to kind of make it, but because of the pandemic, it's a little hard. And they discovered Open Meal. It's great, like, they're, they're getting their, their money, whether the amount, it might, might be like $20 or $50 a week, and then they're coming here because it's affordable, because it's enough for them and their family members. So with Open Meal, it is definitely, um, I mean, it's what you guys stand for, it's amazing. It's helping out the small, small business owners like myself.